innovation should be used to, to advance uh, the uh, human well-being and social justice. And that said, uh, the system way to pay homage, homage again to your, to your work, you are central to this. Uh, dispute resolution is uh, nothing but social dialogue. And the freedom of association is the primer of that social dialogue. Where we have data now was on how dispute resolution mechanisms were able to respond to the challenges that we recently faced under COVID-19. I think uh, the CCMA w w was uh, quite very innovative through the director's directive, uh, which provided quite a lot of new procedures uh, that had to be followed, issues of limiting of visitation, referral through using online uh, uh, platforms, venues outside of the, of, uh, of, of the office of the, of the of the CCMA and also the issue of prioritization of some interest uh, disputes and those in public interest and uh, so on and so forth. The CCMA is an important institution for us at this time in this country when so many of us dare to hope that joy and peace will prevail. So what is needed is a serious intervention to steer business back because we can't speak of a just society. Equality is not justice. You know, the pandemic has taught us many things. One of them is that when women can go out to see for whatever reason, they repair their nets. What are you and I doing to repair our nets, our significant relationships, significant others? COVID-19 um, is is a serious um, infection. It's, we only know it for since um, uh, l late 2019. In terms of um, looking at this, I think you're all from the CCMA, so you'll understand the issue of um, trying to understand how to eliminate the risk, um, how to, um, if you can, replace the infectious diseases with something else or limit your exposure, particularly for people working in the lab or in the ICU, limit exposure. So you have to look at your workforce in terms of, um, you know, what, what you know, um, the kind of decisions that that management makes and you have to look you know at um you know what you know what are their comorbidities what are their vulnerabilities and and try again to explain the benefits the, the public health benefits me as a worker and you as a worker uh, while we while we get vaccinated the work of the ccma involves the conducting of arbitrations and the production of arbitration awards what is the threshold for unreasonableness? And what I mean by that is when will an award fall outside a range of reasonable decisions? What this issue is about, ladies and gentlemen, it's about the intensity of a reasonableness review. We are dealing with CCMA arbitration and CCMA arbitration awards that involve administrative action, and the constitutional right to fair labor practices. The court is holding uh, the CCMA to the standards in section 33 of the constitution. Our primary mandate really is to provide speedy dispute resolution um, and it must be cost effective, efficient and accessible uh, in, in, in however we provide it within the country. The pandemic, as we all very well know, is, is, is a, was a disruption and probably still is a disruption. The positive of it is it gave an, an opportunity to improve our efficiencies and also in, improve our accessibility. When everything shut down here in Brazil, we ask ourselves, what are we going to do in order to pursue justice in the Amazon region? So we decided to reinvent ourselves. We could get closer with the introduction of technological tools. We also redefined the concept of justice and we developed best practices.